to the hunting area. We are, we're here somewhere. First night we camped. That is a long, it was a long <laughs> trip. Never. 1,200 miles, uh, four full days to Scout. Scout. Okay. Yeah, well, you definitely hit the rock. It looks like uh, slightly low and slightly left, but on the rock. That's where it went off at. Yeah. Well, it's morning two of scouting. Four bulls scattered out over two square miles and some cows. So we climbed to the top of a peak the time we got there, which wasn't 20 minutes. Maybe half hour. 30 minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, they were gone, like smoke, whoop, in the trees. And had this really good idea to hike down this ridge. I think we decided that the reward per effort on this one wasn't worth it. That's a D minus for sure. <laughs> it Alan happen. and I just spent the afternoon looking over six pretty good bulls. Yes. 260 to 310. And it's Thanksgiving. And yeah, we were struggling to find mature bulls. We saw, saw a lot of rod horn spikes, cows. Yeah. So that's the first time we saw any good mature bull. So now it's supposed to rain non-stop until late tomorrow, like 100%. Eight, eight in the morning. Eight in the morning. And then turn to snow. And then it's going to snow 100% until all day, as far as the weather forecast goes. So. <laughs> well, we're sitting in the kind of tent bound today because it's snowing so hard outside. And Alan and I were sitting talking about optics and how really important they're probably the most important thing to a good hunt is your optics. And I've, day in, day out, my uh, 10 by 42 Swaro EO range uh, has the rangefinder built in. It's it's top dog. I really love it. And Alan's using. I'm using the Vortex. I've been using Vortex now for about three, four years. Uh, Vortex. But I'm using the Razors. Vortex's Razor is their top line yeah and it's half the money of what Swarovski is but it is way more quality than half it is Absolutely. very close to good you know to the Swaro quality this year I brought out a pair of or a uh, mystery ranch harness pouch and I tell you what it is not the hassle I thought it would be I like it I like the protection I'm that they yeah. offer yeah, you're paying so much money for this that right. why not protect protect it, keep it out of the rain. And today it's snowing hard out there. So. Yeah. Right. Opening day was yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And we actually never went anywhere. It snowed so hard all day. I actually think there's eight, ten inches of snow left. Mm -hmm. We're ready. We got our packs ready. We're leaving at uh, 5.30, which is an hour and a half. We're gonna go do battle. Who's to battle?
just up here trying to figure out how in the heck to, uh, how to deal with it. And we were in some nasty canyons, and the snow was so slick. Seven point, standing down here 540 yards away. End of the first day of hunting. First day of hunting, second day of the seven yeah. day season. We, we didn't get to hunt because of so much snow the first day, but today was fun. So we did, we saw nine bulls today. And about a half hour before dark, we saw about a 340, 350 bull. Yep. At 1,583 yards. Yeah. If we can find it in the morning, we're going to go back to the same spot. We have a plan where we think we can pack him out, and we have a plan on how we're going to go get closer to him. It's a pretty morning. It is a gorgeous morning. Arizona sky. Things go right. We're not going to see this vehicle until way after dark. Ooh, this machine is awesome. Can Am Maverick. I'm impressed. South. So, so we're gonna head west. We're gonna head where? West. West. Okay. Mr. Rob, maybe give us a quick synopsis. Well, we uh Made it back to where we saw the, the 350 bull, and we saw him. And uh, there was four guys from Flagstaff sitting on him, and including having a couple guys with one guy with the tag above him. So we decided to execute Plan B, and when that formulates, I'll let you know. <laughs> Feels like spring out here. It's bright, snow is melting everywhere. Just came back to the tent and had lunch. We were there the first day that looked so good, but there was a camp right close to it. And uh, it didn't go so good this morning on the big bull. Uh, so now we're gonna go back. We found it again today and nobody had been in there. And this is a, an incredibly look, good looking country. So you can see over there, that's where we were this morning on that mountain. That's where the 340 bull was surrounded by four guys from Flagstaff. This was disappointing tonight. This was a hole that we found like two days before season opened and it looked so good. You can see so much country on the right kind of country. And we knew that that camp that was down there was gonna hit it real hard. We came back today and nobody's been in here at all. The fresh snow, no tracks in it, no people tracks. A few out tracks. We saw two cows and a brush head in here today but it just looked big bull country. And, uh, yeah. and it, it probably is, but they forgot to get the memo. <laughs> so I think let's go home and have a peanut or Good a jerky point. or something. Okay.
right over, right behind me over there against the cliffs. We spotted a, uh, we saw two bulls this morning. One like five point, but uh, anyway, we put this 320 bull to bed. He's right at the break of slope underneath the cliffs over there behind me. He's right at a mile away. So Alan and I have developed a plan. We got our route figured out and we're going to slip down into this canyon and then we've got the spot picked out. We think we can see him when he stands up. Alan and I spotted the 320 bull from that ridge over there a mile away. Down through the creek bottom, down the creek bottom, and up this steep ravine. And, well, we get over here and we sit down, and there's a hunter walking right through where the bull was bedded. Where he came from. And whether he even knew the bull was there. So, this is two days that we've kind of got our plans messed up by other hunters. They, there's not that many hunters around, but they just appear. So we're sitting here to see what happens. Having lunch. Stock on that bull was underneath. We went over underneath that rim. And we got up there 500 yards from the bull. And there was a hunter had just walked through the middle of his bedroom. And where he went, I don't know. of the hunt and we might have waited too long we passed up a lot of good bulls 6.7 point brush heads a lot of good meat bulls Look, I'm taller than you we finally see eye to eye <laughs> on a few things <laughs> well today's the last day of the hunt 
We saw a few cows and two bulls. Two bulls, yeah. This they, weren't, they weren't in a shootable spot. So it's time to go to camp and clean up our act. Time to call uncle and... Yeah. It was a good hunt. We, a we lot looked. of fun. Arizona. We've been here, we've done it, and... Uh, well, shall we pack it up? We're gonna pack it up. Let's go.